Hello LEGO fans, Jarve Bricks here with another update. I finally finished the Chinatown. I know I've been saying that I've been making it for a while. I gave you a sneak peek the other day and I've been putting a few images on Instagram recently just to show you that it is actually getting done. Uh, I have been distracted by um, buying a few other sets that I wanted to get made and I did speed build videos on them and now I've dismantled them and I've utilized bits in the Chinatown. You can see some of the carcasses on the road there of um, some of the creator sets. Um, so yeah, it's complete. So I'll first of all, I will show you as a close up on my desk and then I'll show you in the city. So let me show you what I've got. So first of all, Here's the archway, which is common in many cities, Chinatown areas. As you uh, go through, they have this big arch uh, to welcome you into the Chinatown. So of course I wanted to have one of them. And the uh, lion dance set really helped me to create that. So I used the same um, principles with the roof. Some slight variations on the way the tiles are used. Um, uh, but otherwise the roof is the same and then the Chinese writing in the middle I have no idea what it says it could say chicken fried rice for all I know I don't know um, but it looks all Chinesey whether it's Mandarin or Cantonese I have no idea um, but I thought it looked nice in there it was on the temple fair set so I doubt it would say chicken fried rice um, but I don't know if anyone knows what it says let me know and then um, all of the uh, little tiles here uh, again from the Chinese temple fair set I thought it looked really nice there are many different styles of arches that uh, you see around the world so I googled a lot of um, uh, Chinese archways for Chinatown and um, the one I went with was Newcastle's which I will insert a video of it now. So I just tried to mimic Newcastle's really. Um, so I thought I didn't want it too big to overtake where it's gonna be gigantic and bigger than the buildings. Um, so I thought what, I might take it down one or two um, brick sizes lower, but. I think it will look out of proportion then so we'll see once it's in the city. Now let me show you the rest. So here's the uh, one of the main buildings. Um, I wanted this one to be quite tall because the archway can be seen in front of it. I wanted the building behind the arch to be bigger than the arch so um, it's a little bit tall. In fact I cannot quite get it all on the camera but uh, let me just give you a little glimpse. So as you can see, it's pretty tall. So if I just go into sort of on the ground floor area first, here you've got the um, Chinese temple itself, the roof style. There's been a slight change where I've tweaked it um, to hopefully make it feel better um, using these uh, little t uh, printed tiles here and here uh, which I think is great that they're printed in fact if you um, do buy those two Chinese New Year sets there isn't a sticker on it at all so it looks really really uh, cool when it's all printed pieces uh, whereas this here is also a printed piece as is the little envelope um, someone told me what that represented but I forgot what that means I think you put money in it and give it to your friends on New Year I don't know but there's a little envelope there that means something here I've just got the uh, two windows from one of the Ninjago sets I thought it looked fit really well um, so they're the just sliding doors um, the windows try to do something different with it and uh, these windows here are from the temple fair uh, so I just transported them 
over with some little slight tweaking to make it all fit in but then when I came to the uh, next floors at first I put in the standard windows that you get with all Lego buildings and um, I just felt it looked too much like the rest and then, as I said before I did a lot of research with looking some photographs of Chinatown all over the world and generally they are historic buildings buildings that have been there for sometimes centuries and the Chinatown area has moved into it after all the buildings were built so the buildings are all western looking if I can say that they the style of the buildings don't look too much of a Chinese style but when you get to sort of um, ground floor level that's where they've made it look like Chinese style architecture um, but the reality is it's a little bit of a facade that's been put onto an existing western looking building um, so I thought realistically you would have normal windows in the ground first floor second floor um, but I wanted the whole thing to look a little bit more Chinese architecture um, so that's why I just put these windows in it took me ages to get these right um, as you can see here they're slightly offset so it's a thicker white piece of plastic on one side than the other um, but that couldn't be helped uh, but I wasn't able to make these a lot more symmetrical it took a lot of trial and error to get that right uh, using those um, uh, modified panel pieces and just put the two against each other with a um, two by four plate behind it holding them together and that, that's it in fact I could actually just pluck that off the uh, off the wall there um, so uh, but it, it's effective and I thought it looked quite good um, put this banner up from from the New Year Temple Fair set um, so uh, wanted to keep it I wanted to use that really I've built it all and then I thought oh, I forgot to put them on so I just shoved them on the side in all honesty that's what happened and then um, going up to the top you know what, I'll just pick the camera up um, so I got the sticker from the um, uh, da, 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 <laughs> monkey kid big giant boat hideout thing um, with the um, sign on the top so I just wanted the sign or the sticker for the sign I did have my own um, what is it 16 by 8 completely flat plate so um, I just stuck it on one of my own and then just put those modified uh, plates at the, all around it to give it a border and I wanted to utilize those lions so they're just um, supposed to be a bit like statues which have been dotted around Chinatown and then also on the side here I just wanted to have a little bit of a, uh, a vertical sign because all the signs in Chinatown they seem to all be vertical I don't know if I've put those squares the right way up or not um, I don't know what they say uh, but they're from the um, uh, Temple Fair set is on one of the stalls so possibly something to do with fireworks because they were next to the fireworks in the set I don't know um, so yeah that's it so this is quite a narrow building so narrow narrow in fact it looks a little bit ridiculous but I wanted to have the set um, the building set back but it couldn't be on a full base plate it had to be on a 16 by 32 so it wouldn't fall off the table so just to spin it round that is the width of the building just four studs and um, so it does look a little bit ridiculous but um, from a distance you cannot tell and that side is actually facing the wall anyway the only side you would see is that side which clearly is thicker so that's my main building now let me get the next one out so this is um, my pigsy shop I don't know what 
pigsy cells um, but it was the monkey kid van which i only bought the stickers from i didn't buy the set itself and um, i just utilized the stickers I'll just move these out of the way um here so these are just these little pieces here are from the hidden side lighthouse and um, so just put them as a bit of an awning there um, at first that's all I had but I felt that it didn't really look oriental so that's when I put this extra awning over the top there so it does hide it a little bit but I feel like it looks better and uh, looks in keeping with the Chinese uh, architecture um, I wanted to put a bit of an alleyway because I wanted to have this monkey um, from the monkey kid set this graffiti down the side so uh, although it's right up to the edge here the building that will go here um, creates that little bit of an alleyway uh, where that will look a little bit better um, using the roof here so I had a bit left over from the temple and um, so just use that I was a little bit short in the corner there so it doesn't look great but um, but it works and then I use these um, profile bricks with the jagged lines for all of the the brickwork around here um, and this is this, this is the similar design here for the windows as it is there uh, you can't actually see it there it just looks black but it is exactly the same as uh, well not this one on the other building I suppose that one but a double one of them anyway in black um, wanted to have this with a, a red trim but, but because of the design of it here is just a, a jumper with one stud in the middle and um, so is either have red lines across or keep it gray but I didn't actually have um, these little jumpers in red uh, so I went with grey because that's what I had to go with. So it doesn't look great, but um, I quite like the the style of it. This is probably this this building here is probably my least favourite of all of the uh, the buildings I've done here in the Chinatown area. And with the roof here, I've just put the um, uh, a normal yellow base plate. Well, not quite yellow. I don't know what colour it is. Like an orangey yellow. Uh, base plates and I've just used those uh, modified bricks with the arch every other brick just to give it a a, a bit of a, a feel like the Chinese roof style so it's, I suppose it's okay and of course I put the lions um, at the top as well and one more thing is this big sign here so that is the sticker on the side of the pigsy van. It's bigger than I wanted it to be. And I would like it to be vertical instead of horizontal. Um, but because it was a sticker for the side of a van, you're governed by the design of the sticker there. Um, but I think it looks okay. Um, as I said, it's a little bit big, which is a bit awkward. Um, but you know as I said it'll do and then um, here one of the stalls from the um, temple fair set I've just made as a bit of a shop front um, selling some studs on a stick whatever that is supposed to be a vent for the uh, steam from the cooker uh, this is just to um, stop people wandering off into the water um, you, know, you think of the kids don't want to let them run off health and safety and that's it going around there very basic very plain so that's the next one along so now the last and final one uh, the two previous ones you've seen have been on 16 by 32 base plates the next one is on a 32 by 32 base plate So this is probably the one I'm most pleased with. I think it looks full of life and vibrance, which is what I was aiming for. I suppose the other ones will when it's all together, but um, this one you, you've got much more congestion, so which I like. This is just dangling here because it will be attached to the pigsy sign. 
um, so temporarily I'll just throw it over the top um, so we've got a cash machine here with a, a sign which I don't know what it says um, it's supposed to be a bit of a poster another air vent here and uh, another style um, sign on the on the side like on the original building but I ran out of these uh, squares here so I just put a white one in the middle um, using the panda here again it, I bought the um, stickers from the monkey kids set uh, I love the building but I don't like the mech so I don't want to buy it so I've just used the stickers and I've just managed to make that up with uh, bits that I already had None of the buildings, by the way, I should have said at the beginning, but none of them are detailed on the inside. It's just uh, external only. And then I was trying a different style of window to make it look a bit Chinese. Do you do we look at the windows here? Do you think it looks oriental? Yeah, it's different, I suppose. I quite like it. I don't know if it's accurate. I don't know, but yeah, I thought, it, I think it looks okay. Uh, so pleased with that and then the roof here is my leftover parts from the palace cinema uh, so I just uh, used that and they are just uh, on a, a 90 degree bracket here so they just hang over the side at the back um, and just have this you get you got three of these from the temple fair set so I've got one here uh, one here and another one which will be attached once it's in place and then um, if you just look at the building at the background here so using the windows from those two from one of the Ninjago sets um, the this this um, bal balcony was from uh, the music stand where they were doing the 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 dragons were the dra dragons the lions were climbing up the poles that was from that so use that there and then this this bit is some aspects of the palace cinema again um, and, and a few extra bits i don't remember what those fist things are from but i don't know if it's from the palace cinema or i got it from something else i cannot remember and then just another lion on the top there here I've just put an um, electrical pole with a, a sign on the side again no idea what that says and then I've got a monkey kid sticker on it as well I was wanted to have these in grey but I didn't have the cylinders with the little easy just leave it as it is uh, the hole in the side and a way for it to attach so I only had them in red so that's the colour they ended up being and then on the ground floor you've got all these details so two of the stands modified set back to back to give a little bit of a market feel to it and just makes it all feel very busy and in the back corner you've got two old men sitting down playing chess and then that's just caged off at the back there because um, the train station is behind it once it's all in place so just to give you a look around the building so here the train station platform comes up to here and and, and here so uh, I've just caged off it is an opening door for emergencies but yes that's all it is and this is just a modified uh, plate that I've just put on there as a roof start to run out of my tan bricks here so I shoved a few brown ones in and again this is just another alleyway where I've just uh, put the uh, one of these prison cell things just to stop the kids wandering off and that's it brings you back round to the front so let me show you what it looks like all together it's not easy to get it all on this desk it's massive um, so I'll just move the arch so you can see it so 
so that's it that's it all together it's hard to get it all in at the same time that sign as I said is a bit big it casts a lot of shadows and get you on street level And then as you can see, I've fastened that, um, those those two, I don't know what they're called, where the lantern's attached to it. And that goes to the pigsy sign. And then the lions just dotted across the top. I'm really pleased with the way it looks. Now I'm excited to see what it looks like in the city. So let's get on with it. Okay, so it's all fixed in place it's actually hard to get close to this from this angle so I will do my best um, that archway at the moment is just sitting just on two studs um, but it keeps falling over and when it does it smashes into a million bits so I probably will reinforce it a little bit and make it a little bit more sturdy really see just get a light because my phone is casting a shadow and the light is directly above the Chinatown there we go just try and get it from another angle I apologize for the camera shaking but uh, I am stretching out hang on let me just reposition so from the far side zooming in a little bit It looks so busy down there, doesn't it? There's actually 24 minifigures in that little corner. It's quite a lot. And then here it is from behind. Bit of a tight squeeze here. there it is next to the train station all finished now when I was building this I had a mental image of what I wanted it to look like um, like with all my mocks it was it's always just what I've got in my head and it never really turns out exactly what my head thinks it's going to turn out like it doesn't my head doesn't calculate all of the little bits where you're like oh I can't do that because of this this and this and you have to readjust but um, that's not what I expected it to look like to be honest but I'm still really happy with the way it's turned out I feel like it has that oriental style to it I feel like it's really busy um, vibrant it looks great in the city so yeah I'm really pleased with the way it's turned out glad it's over with because I have been talking about doing this Chinatown for a long time so yeah that's it that's the end of this mock well thank you all for watching I uh, do appreciate it please give us a thumbs up as it does help the channel believe it or not just to get an idea of what people like um, please leave a comment tell me what you think tell me if you think I can improve it in any way and uh, I will try to utilize what I hear 
and uh, put it in the city so yep yeah, that's it so just to pan over from Chinatown over to the market stall I should have put the lights on over there across to the harbour I think my city is starting to fill out nicely so thank you again for watching and goodbye